Removing race as a factor altogether, a bias test that prevented thousands of black patients from getting a kidney transplant is changing. And now transplant networks are trying to help patients who are actually impacted. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Olson is live at Morehouse School of Medicine. Yasmina, the school right now working to prevent future disparities. Yeah, Morehouse School of Medicine and Lifelink of Georgia working together to improve organ donation and transplant rates for black patients. The goal is to get more black doctors in this field. For John Lilly, working in the field of organ donations and transplants is personal. My father is a heart transplant recipient. He is the associate executive director at LifeLink of Georgia. They work with hospitals to identify potential organ donor patients and help facilitate the organ donation process. You know, in the United States, there's over close to 104,000 people that are awaiting a life-saving transplant. The majority of those, about 86%, 89,000 patients are waiting. Of these 104,000 patients, Lily says over 60% of them are people of color. And when it comes to kidney transplants specifically, a change to the outcomes of a racially biased organ test is happening. The EGFR test would overestimate a black person's kidney function, calculating black and non-black patients' results differently. So a black patient could need a kidney, but be less likely to get one. National kidney and organ transplant organizations called for a change to race-free equations when it comes to kidney function. And now the transplant network is giving hospitals one year to find out which black kidney candidates could have received a new kidney sooner, if not for this test, and adjusting their wait time, per an AP report. And in Metro Atlanta, a new partnership with LifeLink and Morehouse School of Medicine hopes to keep these disparities from happening. The goal is to train more black doctors to recover and transplant organs so that black patients can get the organs they need. Right now, less than 7% of nephrologists and less than 5.5% of transplant surgeons are black, according to Lilly. Increasing the amount of minority physicians in our community can only help us in spreading the importance of organ, eye, and tissue donation and saying that this is a good thing and a good thing for our community. Lily also encourages becoming a donor. You can do so by registering on donatelifegeorgia.org. Live at Morehouse School of Medicine, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. More fresh